Hey guys, in this video, I'll talk about Azure Vnet to Vnet peering. I'll explain how Vnet peering works and how we can enable Vnet peering in the Azure portal. First, we'll try to understand what is Vnet peering. Later, we'll also perform lab in the Azure portal and understand how we can enable Vnet peering in the portal. The virtual networks in Azure are the private networks which are created under the subscriptions. We can create resources under virtual networks and we can use our applications. Like say example, if I want to communicate between two virtual networks or if I want to communicate between the resources across the virtual networks, by defaultly, it is not possible because there is no communication or connection between two private networks as they are isolated networks in the Azure portal. Let's try to understand what VNet peering will do or how it works. VNet peering will use Azure backend network to communicate between multiple virtual networks that are created in Azure. So that means two virtual networks in Azure, if they want to communicate with each other, we need to enable VNet peering. If I take an example of VNet01 and VNet02, which is presented on the screen, if I want to communicate between these two virtual networks, I'll have to enable VNet peering at the both virtual network level. Once VNet peering is enabled, the resources in both the virtual networks can talk with each other, can perform the data transfer as well. Let me talk about the Azure resources that I'm going to create for this Azure VNet peering lab purpose. I'll present one diagram and I'll show you the resources I'm going to create in Azure portal. This is the diagram of resources that I'm going to create in Azure portal. First, I'll create VNet01 with the address space. Next, VNet02 with another address space. Next, VM01 in first VNet. Next, VM02 in second VNet. After that, I'll test the connection between two VMs. Then I'll enable VNet peering to enable the communication from VNet01 to 02 and VNet02 to 01. Let's log into Azure portal and we'll create Azure VNet peering lab. In this video, I'm going to create local VNet peering. That means both the VNets will be in the same region. I'm in the Azure portal now. I'll create the resources in the Azure portal as per the diagram which I have presented before. I'll create virtual network first. So now I am in the virtual network creation page. I selected subscription. I provided resource group name as vnet-rg. I will paste the vnet name as vnet01, which I have already saved in a notepad. I'll paste that vnet name. Region, I'm selecting East US. Then I'm going to click on IP address. I have saved address space range and subnet range for vnet01. I'll provide the same values in the IP address section. I'll provide the address space range as 10.0.0.0 slash 16. I'll provide the subnet range as 10.0.1.0 slash 24. I'm pasting the same address space range here for subnet. I'm providing the subnet name as subnet-1. To save these changes, I'll click on save. I'll not do any other changes like I'll not edit anything in the security. I'll not add any tags. I'll click on review plus create. Once I click on review plus create, it will perform final validation. After the final validation is successful, I'll get an option to create the VNet. I'll go and click on this create button. Once I click on it, it will initiate the virtual network deployment. I have also created one more video about Azure virtual network. If you want to learn about what Azure virtual network, you can watch that video before watching Azure VNet peering video. Now I'm creating second virtual network, VNet02, in the same region where I created first virtual network, which is VNet01. Why I'm creating both the virtual networks in the same region is because we are doing or we are talking about local VNet peering. Local VNet peering requires both the virtual networks to be in same region. So I'm ensuring both the virtual networks are in East US. Now I'm going to provide address space for the second virtual network as 192.168.0.0 slash 16. I'll click on add subnet 
to add subnet in the second virtual network i'll provide the address space range as 192.168.10.0 slash 24 i'll provide the subnet name as subnet hyphen one then i'll click on add button to save this configuration i'll not change anything in the security tab i'll not add anything in the tags i'll click on review create to run the final validation once the final validation is completed i'll click on create button to deploy the virtual network after the virtual network is deployed i will create vm1 in vnet1 then i'll create vm2 in vnet2 after that we'll perform the remaining tests of validations i have created two virtual machines now i'm going to the deployment succeeded bleed you can see the deployment is completed guys on the screen i'll click on go to resource option which will take me to the virtual machine overview page uh, you can see the vm name as vm02 i'll copy the public ip address of this vm02 i'll open mstsc in my local laptop i'm opening mstsc from run and i'm pasting the public ip address of vm02 and i'm trying to connect to this virtual machine i'll provide the credentials which i have passed while the creation of virtual machine which is test admin and the password following for the user and i'm clicking on next so i'll get a rdp connection to the virtual machine like the same we'll also connect to our first virtual machine which is vm01 so i'll go back to the virtual machine blade i'll click on vm01 and then i'll copy the public ip address of vm01 i'll open mstsc i'll paste the public ip address i'll provide the username and password after that i'll click on ok which will authenticate the credentials then i'll click on yes which will launch the rdp connection from my local machine to vm01 so now you can see on the screen i have connected to vm01 and i have connected to vm02 now let's verify the host names of both the virtual machines within the operating system by opening command prompt inside the operating system so now we have verified the host names of both the virtual machines and we can confirm vm01 and vm02 we have connected now i will run the command ipconfig in both the servers to identify the private ip of both the vms vm01 and vm02 you can see vm01 is having private ip of 10.0.1.4 and vm02 is having private ip of 192.168.10.4 i'll try to ping to the vm1 from vm2 and vm2 from vm1 so let's ping 192.168.10.4 from vm1 and then i'll ping 10.0.1.4 from vm2 you can see the response when i'm trying to reach the vms it is showing as requested timeout that means vms are not able to communicate with each other now we'll enable vnet peering i'm in the virtual network 01 i'll click on peering option then i'll click on add button to enable the vnet peering so here i'm creating peering link i'll provide the peering link name as vnet 01 to vnet 02 because i'm enabling the communication between vnet 01 to vnet 02 here so i'm providing the name as vnet 01 to vnet 02 the remaining options i'm going with default options i'm not changing anything because i'm not looking for any customization or any advanced vnet peering so i want to go with default vnet peering then you can click on a uh, remote virtual network peering link so here you are enabling peering between vnet 0 to 2 vnet 0 1 so first you created vnet 0 1 to 2 and now 2 to 1 after that you can go and select the virtual network in the virtual network if you select 0 1 right it will throw you error saying hey you are on vm 0 1 if you click on vm 0 1 i cannot able to perform peering you have to select a different virtual network then if i go and click on vnet 0 2 it will accept the virtual network to be paired then you can go and uh, select the remaining options as default and then click on this add button to enable the peering after clicking on add it will enable the peering in two virtual networks once peering is enabled you can validate the status by going into virtual network peering 
you can see the status as connected the peering status should be connected then you can go inside the virtual machine and you can try to ping the virtual machines uh, i'll ping 192.168.10.4 i'm getting response even i'll ping 10.0.1.4 i'll get the response so vnet peering is helping us now to communicate between the virtual network resources this is a simple video which i can create on azure vnet peering guys if you want to learn about azure global vnet peering i'll create one more video on global vnet peering i'll also talk about the difference between local and global vnet peering in my next video if you wish to watch more content videos like this you can subscribe to this channel cloud learner pro if you have any doubts related to azure vnet peering session you can put your comments i'll check and respond back to your comments if you feel these videos I'm uploading in the channel are informative, please share it in your circle so that it will be helpful for someone who wants to learn Azure Cloud.